Yo, what's up, YouTube? Before you watch my Deja Loaf interview, um, I just wanted to... You're going to be wondering, like, why the camera's only on me. It's because my dumbass forgot to uh, empty out the memory card so I'd have more memory to shoot Deja Loaf. So the camera, the good camera that was pointed on her the whole time, it didn't record. It recorded, like, 30 seconds of the interview, and then I was asked out. So um, it's a dope interview, though. Hopefully you enjoy it. Um, but you got to look at me the whole time. Sorry. Noah TV. Oh, it continues, man. Very special guest in the building. I'm actually a very big fan, which is hard for me to be a fan of anybody, but uh, Deja Loaf in the building. What's up, y'all? What's going hey, you on? Just, you've been all over the radio station today. A little something here and there. Deja Loaf. What's a Deja Loaf? Uh, my name is Deja. So okay. that's that where Deja sense. came from. And then the loaf part came from loafer shoes, you know. Ah. Uh, yeah. Pimping. Pimping. You got some pimp jeans Detroit. in you? Detroit, huh? You got some pimp jeans in you? Definitely, yeah. Every, every time I hear loafer, I think you put a loafer up somebody's ass. That's what it's about. And you're from Detroit? <laughs> That's what it's about. And I know Detroit's hella grimy. Style. Is it? A lot of style. What's up? What's what's going on in Detroit right now, man? Because I've watched, like, I'm a huge documentary head, right? Mm -hmm. So I've seen all the documentaries on Detroit, um, how it's, you know, it's crazy out there. But then at the same time, like, Dilla... Slum Village, mm -hmm. Big Sean M. A lot of my favorite artists come out of Detroit, so I'm just like, dude, what's up? What's up in the D? Why is the D so cold? <laughs> people don't come out there much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you get people who, you know, they leave, you know, you don't really, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy out there, but for the most part, I think the music is getting a good space, you know? Yeah, the music so, is, the music out of Detroit's always been dope, though. Like, even when you go back to, like, way back in the day, like Motown type shit, you know what I mean? Definitely. I think, like, it's that's what keeps it alive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sad to say, but not sad, but it's like, you know, the music keeps it alive. Coming out of Detroit, who were you, um, like, what people from Detroit were like you on? Or it's, that kind of inspired you to say, like, yo, man, I want to do this? Everybody. I mean, you had the local rappers who, you know, were, like, popping. And he was like, whoa, I want to be like that. I want to, yeah. you know, Big Herc and Blade, Icewood, and people like that. You always looked up to them, like, wow. Cause they were just doing it, you know. Yeah. And then you have the, you know, Eminem's and you know people like that, Sean. Yeah. Do you uh, you know Trick Trick? Yeah. I just want I don't know. Him, <laughs> I just want to be like, what up, Trick Trick? Because it seems like that's what's like that's your hood pass right there when you say Trick Trick. Like, <laughs> yeah. <that laughs> what up, Trick Trick? <laughs> Shout out to Trick Trick, man. <laughs> that's what it is, man. And then of course I gotta say because we're on camera, man. My favorite from the D. Gotta pay homage. Rest in peace, Dilla, man. Definitely. Oh my God, is is he like big out there? Is he pretty much just like kind of underground out there too, or people? Yeah, I think it's underground a lot. Like the underground, yeah. Kid, but the underground like scene is crazy out in Detroit too. Like a lot of people don't know about it, so yeah. they respect him so much out there on the underground level. Like, yeah, that's I, what I my didn't know who he right was. There, I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't know about him like yeah. growing up. But you know, it'd be so crazy. You would sound so dope over a Dilla beat though, because your voice. I'm gonna try to set that up then. Yeah, kind of you gotta do something over um this song by Slum Village called Climax. Like a free do it on a mixtape or something. Mm -hmm. I'm not even charging you right now. This is royalty free right now. Uh -huh. I don't want no co-producer <laughs> credit. But you over the climax beat mm -hmm. would sound so fucking dope though. I'm gonna check it out. What up, what up, what up? You used to be a nurse? Nah, man, I went to uh college uh to be a nurse. I thought that's what I wanted to do. Then, you were then, so wrong. Yeah. I, I was, tried to work a normal job once too, and that was not cracking. I worked at Target. Target. And got fired two months later for shoplifting. How was you stealing, man? <laughs> I stole a memory card. For what? Like <laughs> For PlayStation. Uh -huh. This was like in 2000 some, so it was still like what? Was it PlayStation 2? It was PlayStation 2. Stole a memory card. Risk it off. And then they put me in handcuffs for a memory card. I started crying like a bitch. Ah, uh, man. Yeah. Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah. Shouldn't be stealing. How did you know that a nurse was not for you? <laughs> I just wasn't focused in school as I should have been. I was just kind of like... All over the place. I used to go home every weekend partying. You know, that's Were you working I was on people like, I'm going to fix your whole motherfucking body? I was working on music. I wasn't working on <laughs> songs like that yet, but I was I was working. I was writing and yeah. going home every weekend. Like, that's yeah. not what Dude, you do. The best motivation is when you got to work for somebody or Definitely. you got to study something and they're telling you what you can do or put your phone down or don't talk or blah. I knew that yeah. shit wasn't for me even when I was a teenager, man. And see, that's the thing. Yeah. Yep. I so, never liked it. Yeah. So so what's up, man? We got to um I know the publishing checks got to be crazy. <laughs> ah, look at that face. I'm just saying, I mean, you know. What did you buy you when you got the first big check? What did you just be like I'm about to, I'm about to stunt right now? I haven't bought or anything. Or have you done like any dumb rapper stuff yet or not? Nah. 
<laughs> I haven't did no, no, nothing dumb yet. I don't believe. I'm it. really like. Has she done anything dumb yet? I'm doing pretty good. Like I don't. <laughs> oh yeah, I bought my mom a little whip, you know, stuff like that. But my mom got a car. I, I get I get that publishing check. I get that check. <laughs> I'm buying an elephant. <laughs> I'm gonna be Dej Low for real because I'm gonna have diamonds in my loafers. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna be in Detroit chilling. Are Are you still in Detroit, or you you stay um, in New York, L. A., or are you just trying to kind of I'm nomad in, I'm right in, now? I'm in, I'm in Georgia right now, but you know, Detroit is home. But I had to, you know. Yeah, I feel you on that. Get away a little bit, clear my mind. That's what it is. Well, hey, man, thank you for coming through. Thanks um, for where can people me, find out more about you? Reach you on social media. Hit me up on Snapchat. It's popping right now. It's Dej Loaf. Uh, Twitter, Dej Loaf. Instagram, Dej Loaf. Hit me up. That's I, where I'm at all the time, you know? I heard Bianca just asking you, you got like a, a lot of male groupies? Do I? Yeah. Because I always ask a rap, like the male rapper is at, so it's very rare. Like we have like a female in here. Oh, no. I just got a lot of people who, who show love, I would say. I'm show love? Call them groupies. Is, is a dick pic <laughs> game crazy right now? I don't know. I like, don't, <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> you know what? This one guy, he got my name tattooed on his. um. His hand, he got Dej Loaf, like, so that's the craziest thing. Hell yeah. Now, I, you being Dej Loaf, when somebody says, look at my hand, I got you tattooed on me, do you feel, like, some sort of responsibility now to that person or, like? In a way, it's like, damn, yo, you like, you yeah. just got, you know, because this is my little brother, he got a tattoo of my name, like, and this is a complete stranger. That's like, what I'm saying. I'm like, You wow. have to drop a good album now. Got to. If so, you drop, a like, a whack album, you just... Ruined his whole life. He, he could never get a job now. He got your name nah, tattooed on his I got to hold him down. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> he's crazy. That's what it is, man. <laughs> Everybody, Dej Loaf. Hey.